guys, I'm back for another first impression. This is from Benefit's Their Real Collection, and it's called Double the Lip. Fuller looking lips in one easy step. Now they first launched this product during the holidays and they came with four little mini ones for $29, which is a really good deal. And just recently they launched the entire collection with a few more colors and full size. So these are $25 each. This is their newer color I want to try. It's called Criminally Coral. Eight hours of beyond belief color. I like the two-in-one idea. Anything that will help alleviate stress and time on applying makeup, I am all for. It says here, in a consumer panel survey of 110 women after one week, 91% of women said the lips look visibly fuller and sexier, and 92% said it grabs and defines the lip line. And that's a good handful of subjects, so that's good. This totally reminds me of the mascara. Like, very similar packaging. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's basically the same size. And it has that teardrop shape. I kind of like this because I would never think of putting these two colors together. It steps me outside of my comfort zone. Oh my gosh, I already don't like that color. Okay, so that was really easy, and it does give you sort of an ombre effect, and it feels really comfortable on my lips, so, so far so good. Okay, we're gonna wear this throughout the day and see if it holds up for eight hours. It is now 12, 12 in the afternoon. I'll check back in a few hours. 3.47 p.m. It doesn't feel extremely dry or anything. It just feels like I have nothing on my lips. As I was eating, I was like, there's no way this lipstick is gonna last. And not to say that I was purposefully trying to remove the makeup and I wasn't wiping off the lipstick at all. I was just patting with my tissue. After lunch, I was surprised to still see color on my lips. Granted, it's not as vibrant as earlier, but it's pretty much just stained. The kids are screaming right now. I want to try another color. I really was not too fond of the other one. I was hoping I'd get used to it throughout the day, but it just, ugh. So I'm gonna try this other one called Nude Scandal, which is also a new shade. Yeah, I think I'll like this one a lot better. Ooh, I much prefer this shade. It's gorgeous, it's pretty much like a pinky nude. And it just feels so comfortable on my lips. Like the liner part isn't as distinct because the shade isn't as deep compared to the main color, but I like it. I really like this shade. Oh, and I forgot to mention earlier, I believe this is supposed to be unscented, but it has a faint, faint scent. Anyways, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and I'll check back at the end of the night. 11 p.m. and it's still visibly on my lips. Uh, exact same thing as earlier, it kind of just stained and it's not as intense, it's not as moisturizing as it was before. It's definitely not drying on the lips. It made my lips feel pretty comfortable the whole time and again, after eating and drinking, it's still on, it's just like totally faded. Well, I have to try on this berry shade because it's called Juicy Berry. I love how like when you just apply it, it just feels so comfortable on the lips. Like it's not too creamy, it's not too matte, it's just the perfect consistency. That's a really nice one. Ooh. Overall, I think it's a good product. I, I do wish there were more colors or maybe they're gonna come out with more in the future. Price-wise, I don't know. $25 for one lipstick just seems like a lot of money. But lipstick and lip liner, that's cool. I guess in a way it's like two lipsticks in one. You really don't need a lip liner because the lipstick doesn't bleed outside your lips. I think it's a pretty good product. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you have tried this. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed this review and let me know in the comments below what products you would like to see me review next. All right, I will catch you guys later. Bye.